Hello everyone, thanks again for joining and today we're going to talk about buying a house that has ungrounded outlets. Now many homes that were built a long long time ago have wiring with that that does not have a ground wire. Just the uh, the load which is the hot and also the neutral. And um, I'd like to explain what the ground wire does. It, 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 it's simply that it grounds the, electric, the electricity in the event of, of shock. So if you happen to be at an outlet and you do something wrong and, and uh, now you're, instead of the shock going in through your body, the electricity will find the path of least resistance to ground and that would be the ground wire, taking it all the way back through the electrical panel and your ground wire outside of your house is going into the ground. It's actually grounded. And so that's what, what the purpose is, is to take any excess power or any overload and return it into the ground and not outside of the outlet, whether it's uh, into something nearby or even uh, through, through someone that happens to be touching that outlet. So it's extremely dangerous not to have a, a, ground, a ground wire in your home. Now, you know, if you don't have a ground wire or if you're buying a house and the, the wire isn't grounded, the, the first thing, the best thing to do is to have the house rewired. Now, of course, that's extremely expensive, but if you're concerned about long-term safety and also resale value of the home, you might want to look into that. It's going to be thousands of dollars to re rewire the house depending on the type of house the access that the electrician would have to each of the outlets and switches and and, and uh, the light fixtures and everything else because everything would need to be wired, rewired. So that could be a challenge. Now, if you already own the home and you're there, um, the first thing you can do is have to identify whether you, you have ungrounded outlets. And so an old electrical outlet that's an ungrounded outlet likely will have only two slots to plug something into. This third one, this round one, is for the ground wire and your, your devices that you would plug in to your outlet have that wire, that little uh, round prong as you know, right? So if you have an outlet that only has two, it's, there's an excellent chance that you don't have a ground wire back uh, inside of that outlet. It's not that they just took an old um, outlet and installed it in a place where there is a ground wire. There probably is no ground wire. Now how can you also test whether you, your ground is even uh, attached properly? So let's say you have this type of an outlet because someone replaced an old outlet but there's no ground wire and maybe there's no ground wire attached to the outlet but it has these three holes, right? You can get one of these which I'll link to in the uh, description this is a tester and this will let you know whether or not there is an open ground, meaning no ground wire attached to the, to the actual outlet. It will also let you know other things, essentially whether it's wired properly, whether you, um, you have an open hot, an open neutral, a reverse neutral or a reverse ground, all kinds of different things. But then it also tells you, gives you a light uh, an output to let you know that this thing is wired properly. Okay, so this is a great little cheap uh, thing to have that you can. It's worth a couple of dollars just to get it, just so you can test all of your outlets. All right. So now uh, you've got this house. You don't want to rewire it. So what else can you do? The uh, the other thing you can do is install a GFCI outlet, and uh, what this will do is it will sense that there's some kind of um, irregular uh, electrical thing happening. Like you, if you're getting electrocuted for whatever reason, this thing will sense it and will uh, flip off. It's like another breaker and will stop the flow of power, which means this is supposed to be installed at the first outlet coming out of your breaker, breaker panel. So usually you'll have a string of, of outlets attached and in an older home that was wired a long time ago with no ground wire, they likely strung a lot of things onto that same wire, okay? So you'd need to find which is the first outlet coming from the panel, and then that's the one that gets the GFCI outlet because then it protects 
every outlet downstream from there. Okay, so you can install one of these as an added uh, peace of mind or, or safety measure in the event that something happens to this outlet or anything else uh, beyond this outlet on the uh, electrical uh, wire. So the other thing you're gonna have to deal with if you're buying a home that has ungrounded outlets is uh, insurance. So homeowner's insurance is gonna be difficult. Not all insurance companies are going to offer an insurance policy for a home that has ungrounded outlets. So you're gonna have to find a company that will and they also might require you do some things like install GFCI outlets uh, before they will offer it, uh, allow you to have an insurance policy on the home. If for whatever reason you're able to get insurance on the home and the insurance company doesn't know that you've got ungrounded outlets, they could void a claim down the road should your home catch fire uh, and then they find out later that there were no, that there were uh, ungrounded outlets and there's no ground wire in the home so you you want to make sure that you're up front with your insurance uh, provider when you're seeking quotes to make sure that you're going to be covered because you think you're fooling them when you somehow trick them into getting coverage on a home with ungrounded outlets but in the end you're fooling yourself because they won't pay a claim if you have a disaster in the home so if you do have any questions at all about ungrounded outlets let me know but uh, there are you can still buy the home if that's what you're trying to do is purchase a home and it's got ungrounded outlets if it's your dream home find a way to make this happen anyway uh, if you'd like to get um, any more information like I said just leave a comment down below in the first uh, in the comment section and uh, we can you can follow an article that I've written about this topic uh, in the first uh, description thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time